Good evening, good evening, good evening. Let's give the Lord a round of applause this morning, this evening. How many come to have a revival this evening? How many truly came to have a revival this evening? How many came to, have, to love the Lord this evening, to praise the Lord this evening, to worship the Lord this evening? How many true believers do we have in this place tonight? Amen, amen. I don't know about y'all, but I've been blessed these past two days. I don't know about you. When I got home, I slept a little bit better. How about y'all? Amen. Amen. For those who can and will, would you please stand for the reading of the word? I'm coming to you from Psalms 91, a familiar passage, another one of my favorites. And it simply reads, he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the... Nor for the noisome pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waveth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall come nigh thee. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. I have read to you Psalms number 191, verses 1 through 11. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and doers of his holy word. Let's close our eyes and bow our head for prayer. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you on this evening, Father God. Thank you for letting us make it to another night of revival, Father God. And we want to come and worship your holy name, Father God, for you have been good to us, Lord. 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 I can think of just, I can, if I could just give three reasons on why you're good, Lord. You woke me up this morning. You woke me up this morning. You woke me up this morning. You started me on my way, Lord. I was able to go to work this morning. I was able to use my limbs this morning. And Father God, I just want to say thank you, Father God. We come here today, Father God, to give you the glory and the honor and praise on today, Father God. We ask you right now, Father God, just to bring your presence on today, Father God, so that we can stir up the atmosphere, Father God, with your love, with your patience, with your kindness, with your mercy, Father God. We come here today to have a revival on today, Father God. We need you right now, Lord. Come into this place, Father God. We ask you to touch those, Father God, that have just not been able to just get where they need to be, Father God. And we pray that something is said on today, Father God, that just we just love you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We praise you, Father God. We give you the glory, Father God. Hallelujah to your name, Father God. Glory to your name, Father God. Glory to your name, Father God. We love you and we praise you, God. We thank you, Lord. We ask you right now to touch the speakers on today, Lord. We ask you that you let them have fire in their belly and that we receive it in our hearts, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We give you the glory, and honor, and praise on today. These blessings we ask you, your darling son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Let's give God a round of clap and praise. Hallelujah. How many of you all are grateful today? How many of you all come here with a grateful heart on this evening? Has, if God has done anything for you, let me see you lift your hands and tell God thank you. Let me see that you have a grateful heart on this evening. Did he wake you up this morning? Did he start you on your way? Yes, hallelujah. Ah! 
out of no way. He made a way out of no way. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. Put those hands together. Hey. Hit me one time. Oh, 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 no. Anybody get grateful? Hey, hit the fire. Here we go, right here. Yeah, listen. I've been through the storm and the rain. Been through heartaches and pain. I didn't think I'd make it through, but he made a way. He made a way. Hey, I've been loving up and down. I almost leveled to the ground. But the Lord did what he said he would do. He made a way. He made a way. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He made, he made a way. Say, Make it do, but God made a way. He made a way. I've been up and up and down. Almost level to the ground, but the Lord did what he said he would do. He made a way. He made a way. Everybody say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He made a way. He made a way. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He made a way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he made a way, good God Almighty, he made a way, can I get a witness in the hell, if you know he made a way, you ought to clap those hands, if you know he made a way, we ought to show some sign, has he been good to you, has he been good to you, if you love him, tell me, yeah. 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 Ye
I wish I had somebody in the room that I saw some sign. Think about every miracle that he's performed, every way that he's made, every door that he opened, every window that he opened. God, I don't deserve it, but I'm so glad you did. Clap your hands and come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. He's been too good. He's been too kind. He's been too kind. Hallelujah. 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 We'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be in my mouth. I'll thank him. I'll give him glory. I'll lift his name higher, higher, higher. Hallelujah. Somebody give him glory in this place. I said somebody give him glory in this place. This atmosphere right here is the breeding ground for miracles. This atmosphere right here is the breeding ground for healing. This atmosphere right here is the breeding ground for victory. I wish I had somebody here that said I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I wish I had some help in this place. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Am I talking to anybody thankful here? Did he heal your body? Did he bring you out? Did he pick you up from a horrible pit? David put it this way. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He picked me up out of a horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock and a Establish my goings. Am I talking to anybody here that's ever been down in a pit? Ever been in the lion's den of life? Ever been in a fiery furnace or two? Ever been in a muck and miry clay? Where you ought to take a praise break with me and give God a shout. Give God a give God a give God a wave offering. I don't know about you, but when I think about the goodness of God and all he's done for me. My soul, I wish I had some help in this place. My soul cries out. I dare somebody, I find your neighbor, tell him I'm grateful. I wish I had some help in this place. Don't, don't you hide behind that music. The victory is in your voice. You got a miracle in your mouth. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praise. Somebody, anybody. Shall thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him what you owe him. I wish I had some help in here. Give him what you owe him. I don't know about you, but I owe him praise. I owe him praise. Thank you.
don't make me dance by myself. I wish I had some praises in this place. Fire your neighbor, tell him you better get yours. You better get yours tonight. This your last chance to dance. This the last night. Give God some praise in this place. Let's thank God for this amazing choir behind me, the New Direction Choir. Give a hand to these phenomenal musicians we got. Amen. And give God praise for yourself for being here for the last night of the Fresh Fire Spring Revival. We've had an amazing time these three nights. First night, we started off with Pastor Rodney Cunningham as our lecturer. He snapped. Followed by Bishop Makai Young. Two. Killed it. Followed yesterday by none other than our own brother, musician, and pastor, Pastor Randy Brown, with our lecture. Also, uh, lastly, uh, Bishop Anthony Oliphant, who came by and wrecked the house last night. And we, and um, I already know they didn't wreck the house these two nights. And after tonight, we just gonna have to board up the place, First Lady. I already know, I already know. We just gonna have to, we have to get some more wood. I already know. We gonna have to go to Lowe's or what have you. But listen, I, once again, I, I welcome you. I welcome you, I welcome you, greater new birth, and to all our community. Can we give our visitors a hand, new direction? Can we give God praise for them? Amen. 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 We give God praise for you. Thank you for your presence tonight. Um, listen, you are our blessed greater new birth with a phenomenal pastor. Phenomenal pastor. Amen. Let's, let's, we can do better than that. You, I said greater new birth, you all are blessed. Matter of fact, let me put it this way. Milwaukee, we are blessed to have Bishop R.J. Burke right here in our city. I see, so, I, listen, listen, we can do better than that. We got to do better than that. Listen, listen, I ain't, listen, we ain't going to go another further. We ain't going to go another further till we celebrate this great man of God right. Listen, listen. Let me tell you. We are in the midst of greatness tonight. If you have never heard this great living legend, you are in for a treat. I don't want him to feel uncomfortable as I'm speaking. But listen, I got to toot his horn. Can I tell you, he is some preacher. He is your favorite preacher's favorite preacher. You hear me? I have so many CDs in the garage, in the car, in the trunk, at the crib, right here in this office of him. And I got to clean off the alcohol to get the scratches off, you know, so I can still hear those phenomenal messages. I've been following him ever since I was an associate minister at the Providence Missionary Baptist Church. I've been inspired by his greatness, by his anointing, by his gifting, and I'm just uh, grateful. My kid in the candy store, 
I'm excited to what we are about to experience tonight. Can we give God praise one more time for Bishop R.J. Burke? We praise God for him. Hallelujah. He is, he's one of my favorite preachers. He's in my top three. I'm going to tell you my top three for all my preachers. Y'all got to have a top three at least. And so I got Donald Parson. Got Donald Parson. Y'all may not know him, but he's an OG. He's an OG out of Chicago, 72, still preaching for an hour and a half without notes. Listen, killing it. Got the hoop, got the squall. Been doing it since he's about 19. He's still doing it. Still got the mind. Amazing. Then you got, you know, TD, TD. People be hating on TD, but he still got it. He still got it. And then RJ right up there. RJ can get with in any order. or any, any one of them can be number one on my list. Listen, I'm just so thankful. Me, my wife will tell you uh, I'm one of your biggest fans. Doc. Keep on keeping on praying. Con God's continued favor on your life. Amen. Listen. There is, there is a small town in Mississippi called It, Mississippi. It, Mississippi. As close as you get to it, it says 15 miles to it, 10 miles to it, 5 miles to it. And then when you get there, it says this. Somebody help me. This is it. I want you to know tonight, this is it. The conclusion, the climax of our Fresh Fire Spring Revival, and we are so excited. We won't hold you long tonight. Listen, we don't need no lecturer when Bert is here. You hear me? So we don't got no lecture. Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that all right? So right away, I'll tell you the order of service. Order of service, we're just going to uh, get an offering real quick. We don't want to come into the Lord's presence, the Lord's house, and not give an offering. And then we're going to hear from our choir, or did you want your choir to come up? I, I don't know. It's praise team. All right. Pray, uh, Y'all good? Y'all done? Y'all good? All right. Y'all ain't got Y'all don't want to do five more selections? All right. That'll work. Can we give God a hand for one selection? Can we give God it? Praise. Can we give God praise? Listen. Hallelujah. I love my choir. I love my choir. I love my choir. Listen, can we give God praise for them? They've been holding it down all week. Uh, and, and, um, and I just celebrate God for them. Listen, just want to help you out tonight. We are approaching Passion Week, and I know most of us are fasting um, up until uh, Resurrection Sunday. How you been doing on your fast? Have you been, you, you been cheating? You, you struggling? Tell your neighbor how you've been doing. It's, has the struggle been real? Is the thirst real? Uh, I, I don't know what you gave up. Listen. People kill me, Deacon Huff, when they talk about what they gave up. And I be, I be saying, that's a sin. You, ain't, that, you, can't, you can't fast off no sin. You ain't supposed to be doing that. No way. I wish I had some help in here. So make sure... You're not giving up sinning. You know, you know that's supposed to give up like Pepsi or something. You know, you ain't trying to help somebody tonight. So, giving up sleeping around. What? Huh? You weren't supposed to be doing that. No way. And so, I'm through. I'm th Listen, but as we approach Passion Week, one of the days... He cursed the fig tree. And he cursed the fig tree because the fig tree was, was blessed with light. It was blessed with soil. It was blessed with uh, a great location. It was blessed with rain, but didn't give anything back. That's why it was cursed. And here we are blessed with so much. And some of us, not all of us, but many of us and too many of us don't give anything back. And we want to give back to the Lord, even tonight. This is not a fundraiser. I really just uh, brought Bishop Burke here. And Bishop Burke is just so awesome that he invited his church here. Can we give God praise for that? Can we give God praise for that? I want to celebrate him because he is a busy man. He's been teaching all week, been in meetings all day. And he set aside this time for us. And so we celebrate him once again. But then listen, 
I want to, I say that to say, want to you to give your best tonight. Just $25, just $25, that's it. I ain't putting no pressure on you. If the Holy Spirit told you to give a thousand, do that. Listen to, to the Holy Ghost. Uh, but, but, but just $25 on Cash App is dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. On Give Lafay, it's New Direction Christian Church. Once again, on Cash App, it's dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee, dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. And on Give Lafay, it's New Direction Christian Church. Going to ask our officers to come forward at this time. Um, give your best to the Lord. If you don't have $25, I, trust me, I understand. But just give your best. Do what you can do. And if you don't mind, just stand all over this place. You are under the directions of our ushers. Can we say amen? As you come around, if there are any pastors that I miss, we got a couple of seats up here for you. If there are any pastors that I miss as you come around, join us right here. We got a couple of seats available for you. Can we give God some praise for our ushers tonight? Our unsung heroes, thank you for your service. 
Grant God's favor over you. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Gracious and eternal Father, we pause saying thank you for this offering. We believe by faith and know that you're going to bless some 60, 80, 100 fold. Lord, thank you for their generosity. Bless them, cover them, and their families in the mighty, the majestic name of Jesus. We all said amen. After the greater new birth, praise team has given us one good selection. Is that all right? One good selection. The next voice we will hear is none other than Bishop R.J. Burke. I dare you point to Bishop. Say, Bishop, Bishop. preach to us. Preach to us. We, need we need a word from the Lord. Let's give God some praise in this place. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. You all to clap your hands and give God the glory. In this place, we've come to celebrate with you all during this revival to our, to the head angel of this house, to our bishop, Bishop R.J. Burke. We've just come to give God praise. How many know that prayer will change things? Anybody ever had to go in your prayer room and pray till something happened? Anybody, anybody ever prayed to the Lord and he answered the prayer? Did he move on your behalf? Has he done anything for anybody in the room? You ought to clap your hands and bless the Lord. We thank God for access to prayer. We thank God for having access to pray to him. Y'all ready? Come on down, come on down, 
Jesus, we need you. Jesus, we need you. I said, come on back to Jesus. 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 My mother, she needs you. My father, he needs you. Can't get along. Can't get along without you. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help. No other help I know. Set it by with trouble. Set it by with trouble. Set it by with trouble. Tell me what shall I go? I just feel it in the room. 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 Anybody. 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 Anybody need a healing? Uh, anybody need a healing? Uh, anybody need a healing? You wanna wave your hand? Uh, you wanna wave your hand? Uh, joy, joy, 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 uh, joy, uh, joy, uh, joy in the room. Uh, I said joy in the room. Just keep, just keep on praying. For the Lord is nigh. Keep on praying. He'll hear your cry. The Lord, Lord, His word is true. Just keep on praying. You'll answer you. Just keep on praying. But the Lord is always close by. Lord will answer you. Yes, He will. All you gotta do, just believe. Yes, He will. Yeah. I want to hear. Help me lift Jesus. Help me lift Come on and help me lift Him. 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 Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. Help in the morning. Help in the evening. In the midnight hour. Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. Hey, I have to say Jesus. Jesus. Help me live 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 Jesus. Say Jesus is my Jesus is my help. Help in the morning. Help in the morning. Help in the morning. Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. Now help me call Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 we need you. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, right now. Jesus, right now. Jesus, right now. Jesus, 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 Doctor, Jesus, Lawyer, Jesus, Friend, Jesus, Friend, Jesus, Man, Regulator. Man, regulator. Man, regulator. Man, 
Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Tell them because we're trying to get Jesus' attention. Amen. Somebody said, uh, Bishop, that's, somebody said, Bishop, that's not, bring the piano down for me a little bit in my monitor. Somebody said, Bishop, that's not scripture. And the Bible said in Mark 10, there was a blind man by the name of Barnabas. And Jesus was passing through. And, and if you know Bible history, uh, you know that this would have been the last time Jesus was going to pass that way. And when he heard that it was Jesus, the Bible said he started hollering. Jesus, thou son of David. Have mercy on me. And the word of God says that uh, the people around him told him to be quiet. Now that, there was only one problem with that. And holler if you feel me. They weren't blind. See, and the person next to you, their rent may be paid, or their house note may be paid, or they may already be healed, or their sons or daughter might already be saved, but they don't know what you need tonight. So I need you to look at somebody and tell them I got to holler in my spirit. Yes! I feel it! Glory be to God. My God, and the Bible said that he hollered so loud, amen, until Jesus required, amen, amen, that he deal with him. And so his hollering got him blessed. Tell your neighbor, I need too much to be quiet tonight. Somebody here need a breakthrough. Yes. The anointing breaks the yoke. Yes. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles. And let's go to... Hallelujah. Come on, tell your neighbor, I promise I'm not leaving like I came. I'm going to tell him while I'm praising in here, God is making a way. Somewhere in my life, amen, he's shifting some stuff. Even right now. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. And then we'll do Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Again, Dr. Jared, thank you. Jared Williams, thank you for having us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for having us. Amen. Let me just ask New D. Amen. If I have him come over, will y'all come? Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what's the date? Amen. Hallelujah. If you got Philippians chapter 2, say I am there. Let this what? Be in who? Which was also in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4. I want to read a little bit of this. Uh, stay with me. Verse 17 is where I will begin. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord. 
that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I want to talk for a little while simply from this thought, and I will need your help tonight. I want to talk about my mind's made up. My mind's made up. Look at somebody and tell them the bishop's going to talk about my mind's made up. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Of course, the lesson comes out of two prolific books that are written by Paul. And he's writing to these two churches, uh, two very different situations, but in both he deals with the mind. He deals with the mind because uh, it really all begins in the mind. And I've discovered that there are some modern day Christians who just have bad minds. And as long as you've got the bad mind or the wrong mind, you'll never be able to achieve what God has for you to achieve in your walk. It takes a change of thinking to live holy in an unholy world. It takes a change of thinking to live righteous in an unrighteous world. I never thought I would live long enough to see where right is called wrong and wrong is called right. Where people will declare that certain things that they do in order to justify behavior is all right. And I know this may not be a popular message, amen, but God is still requiring holiness. He's still requiring those who won't get in to try to fit in. Those who are willing to say, if every friend I got leaves me, I'm going to live my life according to the word of God. Where'd y'all go? Y'all getting quieter and quieter. Will you look at somebody and tell them my mind's made up? Come on, tell them I got a mind to follow after Christ. So as he talks about this idea of service and giving your all and selfless, sacrificial a service under God in Philippians, he talks about let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Notice he doesn't say Jesus, just the son of God who, if you will, was the manifestation of God in the earth, but he says Christ, meaning the anointing. So he says you have an anointing in you that will empower you to be able to live above the measure that you would normally live in your own strength. Let me say it like this and holler if you feel me. No excuses. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you didn't cuss because they made you cuss. You cuss because you wanted to cuss. Amen. There, there are no excuses because the Holy Ghost will <laughs> empower you. Where'd y'all go? Did y'all leave? Amen. My mind is made up that I'm going to have the mind of Christ. Jesus is my example. Jesus is my example. His life is the model for our lives. The way he viewed life is the lens with which we should live life out of. Even when it comes to our works, we should live life out of the lens that he saw life. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me uh, for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you that uh, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he do also. And greater works, somebody say greater works. Then these shall he do because I go to the Father. So people should see Jesus in us. Look at somebody say people should see Jesus in us. 
little girl was sitting with her mother in the bed after going to her grandmama's house and had gone in at night. And when she woke up in the morning, she woke up before her mother. And when she sat up in the bed, there was a mirror that was on the wall opposite the bed. And when the mirror was on the wall opposite the bed, there was a picture of Jesus over the bed. And every time she would get in the mirror, she would look. And when her mother woke up, she said, look, mama. She said, when I can see myself, I can't see Jesus. But when I can't see myself, I can see Jesus. It's going to take you releasing yourself in order for God to do what he wants to do in your life. Will you tell your neighbor I'm not wasting 23 playing around in church. I'm not wasting 23 trying to please people who don't even like me. I'm not wasting 23 trying to impress folk who can't do nothing for me. But I'm chasing after God in this season of my life. So now I can use the word of God in at least two different ways. I can use it as a medication or I can use it as a cure. Medication helps uh, with the pain of the thing. But a cure solves or resolves the issues in my life. And I know that you, New D, like Greater New Birth and others who are in there tonight, you're praying that your pastor in this year will not just give you band-aids but will give you a word that will heal your life. Amen. Look at somebody tell them, I want to be healed this year. The person I can't stand right now before the year is over, I want to be in the middle of the aisle shouting with them. I said something last week as I was teaching I said the thing that hurts the most, most times will heal your life. Sometimes the word hurts, but it will heal our lives. So the idea is this year I want to be healed. I don't just want my finances healed. I want my heart healed. I want my mind healed. I want my walk healed. Did y'all leave this place? Look at somebody and tell them this year I need God to explode in my life. So in looking at Jesus living, how did he live? That's the question on the table. He lived life in a certain way. There are three things I want to talk to you about that. So it's obvious that this is not a, an exegetical sermon, but topical in nature. There are three things I want to talk to you about. The first thing is that he lived his life celebrating the past. Say that with me. He lived his life. Celebrating the past. Let's take the Passover for example. In Luke chapter 2, he goes to the Passover feast. In John chapter 5, he went up to Jerusalem, the place of the Jews, to celebrate the Passover. In John chapter 12, he goes up to the city riding on a donkey at feast time. He celebrated the experiences of the past. Even though Israel had not been perfect, even though things had not gone perfect. He celebrated the nation in its connection to God. Tell your neighbor everything in my past ain't been good but I can celebrate God. Hallelujah. He celebrated the past. And I come tonight to tell you if you're going to be like Jesus you're going to have to learn how to celebrate the past. Bishop what am I going to celebrate? I got a few suggestions. Number one you can celebrate the past because it taught you. First thing it taught you was it taught you how to pray. You got in enough trouble in the past until you discovered that prayer wasn't necessarily a lot of words, but it was calling on God and meeting it from your heart. You learned how to pray at home. You learned how to pray at work. You learned how to pray in your car. You learned how to speak in tongues in Walmart. Tell your neighbor, my past taught me how to pray. When I looked up and everybody who told me they were with me could not be found, I called on the name of Jesus. The past taught me how to pray. But not only did it teach me how to pray, the past taught me how to wait. The problem with most Christians is we don't know how to wait. David waited some 17 years to occupy the space that God had called him. Joseph goes from a, a, a pit to uh, Potiphar's house to a prison before he could get to the palace. 
and your past taught you, let me go old school, that he may not come when you want him. I need about 18 of y'all to jump on your feet and tell somebody, I discovered he will show up on time. And when he didn't show up when I wanted him to, it wasn't because he couldn't do it. It was because I wasn't ready. But tell your neighbor, I'm not messing up any blessings this year. When God delivers me this year, I'm going to know what to do with what he gives me. Taught me how to pray, but then it also, the past taught me how to rely on God. I discovered that the psalmist was right when he said, I will lift up mine eyes until the heels from which come of my help. All my help comes from the Lord. Uh, many people, when they talk about that, they say it as if the psalmist is saying, I will lift up mine eyes unto the heels from which cometh my help. But that's not what the psalmist is saying. What the psalmist is saying is, I am on my way to Jerusalem, which is at the top of the hill. And when I look in the hills, I see robbers and muggers in trouble. And the psalmist says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. And when I see what I'm facing, where is my help coming from? But then the psalmist comes to himself. He says, no matter how many workers, no matter how many robbers, all my help is going to come from God. About eight of y'all give your neighbor a high five and tell them God going to bring me through what I'm going through. Come on, tell them God's going to make a way in the midst of what I'm dealing with. Taught me how to rely on God. But then it also taught me how to stand on God's word. Even when I don't know how God's going to bring me out. I'm standing because he said it. And you have to be careful with that because sometimes we get frustrated with other people. Because they don't believe in the word that God gave us. Well the first thing is he didn't get a word to them. He gave a word to you. And just because they don't see it don't mean that God won't do it. Where'd y'all go? Look at your neighbor, tell him I got some stuff on my plate that seems ridiculous. But tell him this next six months is about to shift some, some stuff in my life. Taught me how to stand on God's word. Is there anybody in this building who's standing on God's word? Does anybody know his word is right? Does everybody know he'll honor his word? Taught me how to stand on God's word. But then I'm also celebrating the past because, and holla if you feel this one now. You got to be honest to, to holla at this one. I'm celebrating the past because some things won't be repeated. Tell your neighbor, some stuff I faced in my past, I'll never be in that situation again. That'll never be repeated. He'll never move in with me without being married. Got quiet right then. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll never just let people in my space without asking God is this the season for them in my life just cause you want to be my friend don't need mean you need to be my friend or you know how to be my friend cause in this season I need some people to tell me the truth tell your neighbor I need some people to tell me the truth when I'm too loud I need them to tell me to calm down when I'm acting a fool I need them to tell me to sit down I ask your neighbor will you tell me the truth Some things, I feel my prophetic up in here. Some things will never be repeated. I'll never be broke another day in my life. Some things will never be repeated. I'll never be depressed another day in my life. Some things will never be repeated. 
Hallelujah. I tell your neighbor, I'm free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. So the idea is that the past cannot be changed. The past cannot be forgotten. The past cannot be edited or erased. It can only be accepted. It is what it is. I did what I did. I went where I went. But just because that's my past does not mean it's got to be my future. I can't change what I did. You ain't got to Google it. You ain't got to Facebook it. I'll tell you about it myself. No, no, they didn't take my picture and put it in there. I was there. But how if you feel me, that was then, but this is now. So the idea is I'm celebrating my past just as Jesus did. So many times he said in the the word of God, the scripture says, or God has said, or he quoted scriptures celebrating the past. But then number two, I'm embracing the present. Jesus embraced the present. Jesus embraced the space he occupied. His assignment in the earth, he embraced. He said stuff like, I must work. The work of him that sent me. While it is day. Because the night is coming when no man can work. He embraced the space he was in. And let me tell some of y'all something. You better stop waiting to live and go ahead and live. Better stop talking about I'm going to live when I meet the right person. You are the right person. Date yourself for a minute. Hello, somebody. Look at your neighbor and tell him, you might as well go ahead and live. All the stuff you've had to face, you need to occupy the space that you're in. Hallelujah. Jesus occupied the space. He embraced where he was. He said stuff like the Son of Man uh, came uh, to seek and to save. Those which are lost. He said, I'm occupying the space I'm in. I know why I'm here. You ain't going to throw me off. i tell your neighbor, I got purpose. Tell them that's the only reason I ain't crazy. Embracing the present. Why are you embracing it, Bishop? Very simply, first of all, because I'm still here. Out of all I've been through, I'm still here. COVID survivor. A lied on survivor. A trap set for me survivor. I'm still here. But I'm celebrating more than the fact that I'm still here. I'm still here and out of all I face, I'm not bitter, but I'm better. Could let me help some of y'all. It doesn't make sense for you to have survived what you went through to come out of it and be mad at everybody. Don't you know how to make your enemy have a migraine? It's when they take you through and you come out better than you went in. You may take me through hell, but you ain't gonna never know it. I'm gonna look good, smell good, shout good. Pay good, love good. Come on, somebody say, I don't even look like what I've been through. And this is only for the real folk. Tell your neighbor, I don't look like what I'm going through right now. I'm still here. That's why I will bless the Lord at all times. That's why his praise will continually be in my mouth. That's why my soul will make her boast in the Lord. And the humble will hear thereof and be glad. Then I'm going to try to find out where my haters are in the room. Because I'm going to say, oh magnify the Lord with me. And if you don't, I'm going to move. Hello somebody. Let us exalt his name together. 
What do you mean? Let's lift them higher than what we're going through. Let's lift them higher than what we're dealing with. Just ask your neighbor, say, will you help me lift Jesus for the next 30 seconds so that he can turn some stuff around in my life? Come on, tell him, help me lift them. Still here. That's why. I'm saying bless the Lord. Oh my soul. And all that is within me. That is not a suggestion. That is a commandment. You want to do some self talk. That's a good self talk. That's saying to your soul. I don't care what you're dealing with. You still going to bless him. I don't care what it looked like. You still going to bless him. I don't care what they said, you're still going to bless them. So the first thing is, I'm, I'm still here, but then I'm also embracing the present because God can do things with my now. Uh, it was in the now. In John chapter 2, when they go to the wedding and they run out of wine, Jesus does not say come back tomorrow, but he deals with it right then. He says, fill those water pots full of water. And then he said, now pour it out. Ah, the governor said, you saved the best to last. When you look at your neighbor, tell me your latter day is going to be better than your former day. Come on, tell him the only reason the devil trying to kill you is because he's been walking around the meetings in heaven and he's heard what God said about you. So the idea is God can do things with your now. Tell your neighbor, I don't care where you're at. God can do things with your now. Jude 24, now unto him. Who is able to keep us from falling. To prevent us faultless uh, in the presence of his glory. To the only wise God. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forever. <laughs> Amen. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly. I'm talking about now, abundantly. Above all, I could ask or think. Now the just shall live by faith. Tell your neighbor, I can't see it. But somebody just make a step and say, but I just stepped into it. God can do things with your now. Let me help some of you all. I've been trying to teach all of the world. Saints have it wrong. We try to wait for everything to get right. To accept the blessings of God. But many times God can bless you right in the midst of the mess you're dealing with. Everything don't have to calm down for God to bless you. Watch it. He'll prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Now. Tell your neighbor God's working with my now. I got some torn up stuff in my now, some jack up stuff in my now, some messed up stuff in my now, but I'm giving God my now. Yeah. Of course, then we cannot leave the subject of now without at least discussing now faith. It's the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. My now faith is going to pay off in my not yet. Hello, somebody. Tell your neighbor, I got a now attitude. I look like where I'm going. I don't look like where I've been. I got a now attitude. I see myself walking around in my new house. I see myself walking around in my new office. I see myself working my new business now God can do things with my now but then the other reason why I'm embracing 
my now, my present is simply this. My now is a down payment on my future. All black people know something about layaway. Tell your neighbor, when I don't have it yet, every praise I'm paying down on my layaway to get what I got on layaway in heaven. Listen what God says. God says, it's not until I know that you can trust me now in sickness that I'll choose to make you well. God says, it's not until I know you can praise me now in the valley and I know this is not uh, common but I'm sick of common preaching I need about 10 of y'all that know you're in a valley right now of some kind to just jump on your feet and give God a praise in the middle of it God says until I know you can praise me in the valley I will not honor you with the mountain are y'all hearing me here so no matter how dark your now is know that God has your back be seated the story is told of a young boy and his father who lived in the house alone the bedrooms were upstairs and one day the house caught on fire the father was downstairs at the time and tried to go up the steps and he could not get up there. So he goes outside and goes over to the boy's bedroom window and calls the boy's name. The boy comes to the window. House is on fire. Smoke is everywhere. He says to his son, son, jump. The boy says, daddy, it's smoky. He said, I don't care, jump. He said, Daddy, but it's high. He said, he said, I know it's high, but I'm going to catch you. Jump. He said, but Daddy, I can't see you. Father hollered back up and said, yeah, but I can see you. I come to tell somebody tonight, you may not see God in your situation. But God told me to stop by and tell you he can see you. And that if you jump in faith, hello somebody, he's going to catch you. So then my brothers and my sisters, uh, we celebrate our past. Uh, we embrace our present. But then we protect our future. Jesus, when confronted by the disciples, would always remind them that he had not come to stay. But that he had come to give his life for men. He would remind them that no matter how successful I am down here. I've come to do a job. Can't you hear him saying, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house. There are many mansions. And oh, 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 if it were not true, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, uh, you may be also. Ain't God all right? Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. You've got to protect your future. Yeah, you got to know how to lean on God. Ain't God all right? Uh, you got to know how to trust in the Lord uh, and lean not to your own understanding. Can I get a witness here? Uh, oh, uh, you got to know how to steal away in your closet uh, and call on the name of Jesus uh, ain't God alright uh, won't he take care uh, take care of you uh, 
ain't God all right? Uh, well, uh, you got to understand uh, that God has your future uh, in his view. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, I hear him saying in the word, uh, I know the thoughts I think toward you. Uh, they are thoughts of peace uh, and not of evil uh, to bring you uh, to an expected end. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, give your neighbor a high five uh, and tell them neighbor, uh, tell them neighbor, uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, tell them to hang on in there. God knows exactly what he's doing uh, ain't God alright um, he promised his presence uh, he said I'll never leave you he promised his protection uh, he said I am your shield uh, he promised his power he said I'll strengthen you uh, he promised his provision uh, he said I'll help you so no matter what you're going through uh, hang on in there God will uh, he'll turn it around uh, won't he do it uh, how many know he will uh, get that neighbor by the hand uh, and look them in the eye uh, and tell them neighbor um, tell them neighbor uh, God's gonna bring it out all right uh, tell them you don't have to wait till the battle is over you can shout right now uh, you don't have to wait until you see the end uh, you can and praise right now uh, won't he do it uh, how many know he will uh, yes he will uh, yes he will uh, I know he will uh, yes he will uh, yes he will uh, I know he will uh, I'm about to get out of here but how many know the Lord got your future in view how many know the Lord Got his hand on your life. Uh, find you three people uh, and tell them it's going to be all right. Uh, God uh, got his hand on me. Uh, and when God does it, uh, he does it well. Uh, when God does it, uh, he does it all the way. Uh, I wouldn't wait till the battle is over. Sound uh, like you already got it. Sound. Uh, like the door is open uh, sound uh, like the way is made uh, won't he do it uh, yes he will yes he will uh, yes he will uh, weeping uh, may endure uh, just for the night uh, but joy good god almighty joy it comes in the morning uh, grab that neighbor's hand uh, Shake them and rock them. Rock them and shake them. Shake them and rock them. Rock them and shake them. Shake them and rock them. Rock them and shake them. And tell them, neighbor, it's morning time. Tell them, neighbor, give God praise. Because your future is in his hand. When he does it, he does it well. How many know I'm right about it? Look what he did. One Friday, they hung him high, stretched him wide, pissed him in the side. He died for you and me. But early Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, my rock in a weary land, my shelter, in a time of storm he got up somebody say he got up how much power how much power all oh, power in his hand i'm gone now y'all but before i leave tell your neighbor i'm celebrating my past it didn't kill me tell your neighbor i'm embracing my now is the springboard to my miracle. Tell your neighbor I'm celebrating my future because my future is brighter than my past. What the devil meant for evil, God 
is turning around for my good. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. Every time I turn around, the Lord keep blessing me. The Lord keep healing me. Say yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I know he's all right. Uh -huh. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. I know he's all right. I gotta leave y'all now, but grab one neighbor by both hands and tell him, neighbor. The hand you're holding have been through hell in high water. The hand you're holding, they said would make it. The hand you're holding almost lost their mind. But tell them, neighbor, when I called on the Lord, when I called on the King, when I called on the way maker he made a way he made a way he made a way he made a way yeah 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 Won't he do it? Yeah! <laughs> I know he will. I'm done. But look that neighbor in the eye and tell him my mind is made up. Tell him ain't no way I'm going back. He been too good. He brought me too far. Kept it too long. Yeah. Let the church say yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, somebody help me pray. Let the church say, Yeah. Let the church say, yeah. 
and I want you to sow a seed on top of the word. Those of you who will, I just want you to get a $20 seed, a $20 seed, a $20 seed. Get it in your hand. I want you to get that seed in your hand. How many of you are giving electronically? Let me see your hand. Bless you. Amen. I want you to get that seed. Bishop, I don't have a $20 seed. Get what you have and I want you to bring it tonight. I want you to bring it tonight. To bring it. I'm going to pray and then I want you and I know there are a number of people in here but I really want you because it's what I hear to bring that to the altar if you can even if you have a phone just come and hit that altar on tonight we're releasing this seed in the earth remember this the seed that leaves your hand never leaves your life this if I don't have a $20 seed give what you have give what you have sow it into the earth on tonight Father, I'm thanking you tonight for what you are about to do as we release this seed. We pray that you would bless it and no home will go lacking for what is done here tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Begin to come from all over this place. Begin to come. Bishop, I don't have that $20. Just bring what you have. Just bring what you have. Bring what you have. Sow it. Here you go, darling. So it So it We're sowing tonight You cannot afford not to give We're sowing tonight Deacon Robert Deacon Robert Amen Sowing tonight Bring that seed Wilson be preaching at Jordan many years ago. And uh, I go, I've gone to a number of places to minister with new birth. And uh, sometimes when you go to a place, they, they almost treat you so bad, you'd be like, y'all did invite us, right? Yeah. 
Y'all knew we were loud when you invited us, amen? But we don't have that problem with New D because y'all louder than us. <laughs> you all treat us so well. Thank you for not only inviting us, but giving us the hospitality, amen, of the house of God. We appreciate you. Y'all do me a favor. Open that big mouth, clap those hands, and thank God for Pastor Williams as he comes. Amen. Listen. Just touch your neighbor and tell him that's a bad man. That's a bad man. That's a bad man. It's a bad man, Deacon Huff. Did you see him? Did you see what I saw? Flow. I think he was floating. It. Listen. Deacon Jones, did you get it on camera? Deacon Jones, he had his, I don't know how you was able to hold your hand up for that entire time, but he was getting it. You hear me? When I tell you, that's why I call him the goat. He the goat. He the goat. Touch your neighbor. Tell him he the goat. 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 We praise God for the anointing on his life. What a blessing. I have been blessed tonight. This has been, I must say, this has been. A phenomenal revival. Can we give God a rousing hand clap of appreciation for what we have experienced? Revivals are not merely attended, but they should be experienced. And I don't know about you, but I have been revived. Am I not alone in this place? If you've been revived, just high five your neighbor. Tell him I've been revived. If you ain't on fire by now then you just working with wet wood. You wet wood. Listen, got to give a shout out to all these pastors here. Pastor Wright, what a blessing to have you, Doc, from Healing Grace. Honor to have him. I was a little boy, 12 years old, listening to you when you were, when I, when you were an associate minister at Providence, little boy. And I couldn't wait to hear you. You are a blessing to the body of Christ. Thank you, Doc. Amen. Reverend Alexander, all, all the way here from Greater Galilee, teacher at Milwaukee College Prep. Good to see you. Pastor Trayvon Sinclair, all the way here from Christ the King. Can we give God praise for him? He's a giant. <clears throat> he is some preacher. And Pastor Wilson, President Wilson. Let me say that right, President Wilson. He got so many offices. I don't, he the president of so many things. I didn't forgot, but, but he is the man. He is a giant, and he has preached for us, and it won't be the last time. He's coming back. Listen, I got to give a shout out to Pastor Brown, who is here. Any other pastors here? Just wave your hand. Bless your pastor. Love you, man. Any other pastors and preachers? Wave, wave your hand. Where are my preachers? Where are my evangelists and my preachers? Come on now. Listen, good to see you. Love you. Where you at? Love you. God bless you. We have, our, we have some special guests here tonight from Holy Mount Carmel, where Bishop Betty Hayes is the pastor. Can you wave your hands, beautiful love? Good to see you. That's our sister and brother in love. Listen, we love you. Thank you for your presence. First Lady Burke, can we just give a standing ovation for First Lady Burke, Pastor Pat? Listen, beautiful inside and out. An honor to have you. We praise God for you. Praying God's continued favor over your life. Thank you for allowing us to borrow him yet again, yet again, to close out our revival. I'm just so excited, but I got to give a shout out to our deacons. Wave your hand, deacons. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? My deacons. Deacons, in, thank you. They in the hallway. They outside. They're in every corner. Listen, I, I made a vow. When I became pastor, I said, listen, I don't need y'all standing on the front row staring at me. I need you to, need you to be the police up in here. A amen? And so can we give God praise for our first responders? That's what our deacons are, our first responders. If anything go down, they're going to be there. Some of them got their they, they, CCWs. 
Some of them don't, but they still packing. They still packing. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Amen. And then also, we got to give God praise for our attendance on parking lot duty, keeping the Kia boys away. Can we give God praise for them? Amen. I have not been here long. I have been here a year, but I must testify. Ain't not one window been broke into, no, not one car been stolen. And that ain't nothing but the favor of God and the commitment of these gentlemen. I appreciate you. And, and I must say, that a lot of the teenagers are downstairs in overflow. And the 